Greetings and good tidings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have again the joy of bringing us the Word of God and um, God's Word is always sweet, is always amazing. Today I want to bring you a word and also a prayer of destiny blessings to destiny families. I want you to know that you and your family have access to amazing blessings that God has already decreed and declared. I remind us today that the blessings you find in the Bible are not uh, for angels. These blessings are for families. And that's why I bring this word of blessing and also prayer of blessing uh, to destiny families. In Deuteronomy 28, from verse 1 to 13, God presents to us about 15 uh, amazing blessings. And these are blessings we can read through. We could also release to each other, release to ourselves, release every day, release at night and uh, any time because God has already um, put them here in the Bible for us to be able to release them. Many times we use, uh, we curse ourselves and we put handicaps in our path because we, we, don't, we don't go into the Bible to see the blessings that are ours and uh, we don't seek to pull them out and uh, put them in our system, in our families, um, in our work, in our paths. Our paths should be showered by these blessings. This is what the Bible says. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 28, that is verse 2. You'll be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. I want to believe somebody saying am. amen. You'll be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks will be blessed. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You'll be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee in seven. The Lord will send blessing on your bands and on everything you put your hands to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him. Then in verse 10, then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground. In the land he swore, to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open uh, the heavens, and I love this in verse 12, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. Listen to this one now. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. Verse 13, the Lord will make you head not tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day, and carefully follow them. You'll always be at the top and never at the bottom. What I have just read is from Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 13. There are 15 important blessings that I just read. I gave you a word by reading of the blessings to destiny families. And uh, it's up to us to receive them. It's up to us to pray and, and, and bring them to bear in our families. Blessings make your life easy. Blessings open doors for you. Blessing change destinies. Remember the story of Jacob when he prayed in this place where he said, told this man, you not leave me until you bless me. And he was blessed and his name was changed. Do you remember the story of Jabez who, was, uh, who lived in pain? First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Who prayed and said, bless me indeed, O God. God blessed him. The pain went. His narrative changed. These blessings are for us. The ones I just read from Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 13. And I'll ask you to read them again. But for today, I just want to release a prayer and ask that these blessings become part, wired into your family. 
because God has made you a destiny family and these are destiny families meant for you and also for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these destiny blessings that you have put in Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 13. And today I speak that these blessings be released into a family, into an individual, into a neighborhood, as somebody receives them now. Father, you desire that we be blessed. You desire that we become blessings, channels of blessings. And that is why I'm picking this from the Bible and releasing these blessings to you and also to your family so they can flow through you and you can become a blessing. My God, I thank you as you release these blessings, all the 15 blessings I've just read. I, I, I pray that any handicap, any handicap that be, may be in a family because of a curse, because of an altar, because of a stronghold, uh, because of a word ever spoken over their lives, as this blessing is flowing, all those handicaps, all those roadblocks, all those things that hinder them, they, 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 they move to the next level, I speak through these blessings that they be broken right now. And I pray that these families now listening to me will flow in the dimension of destiny blessings. Receive them, the 15 blessings, now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.